One, two, one. Off-season workouts right here. Right. are all about teaching right. the basics and scouting out there you go. the new players. Ready to go. Get your helmet, I'll fix it right now. But these tryouts at Bremerton High aren't only about the kids. The helmets have a new look, even a little funny. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they look a lot funny. They look a little funny out there. They look like a bunch of bobbleheads. Bremerton's head coach, Paul Therio, saw the padded wraps at a camp in Oregon last summer. Yeah, the truck was on. And the vehicles with straps on the front. They're called guardian caps. There can be no confusion on that. The manufacturer says the padding absorbs up to one third of all helmet impacts. So better? Coach Therio doesn't know if that will reduce concussions, but he says it should help and will protect players from incidental injuries caused by a helmet. If you can imagine a hard surface impacting something like a kneecap, well, now that's not happening. So you're not getting that soft tissue injury like you normally would with uh, without the guardian cap. And while they may look funny, Coach admits, with so much attention on football-related head injuries, the extra pads show that Bremerton High School is trying to make the game safer. We just thought if there's a chance, then that's a, that's a decent enough reason to go ahead and get them. I grew up playing football since like five. Linebacker McCoy Rotome was all league last year. I think it's a good investment because we're going to have less concussions, more protection. He doesn't worry about concussions, but if there's a way to keep him healthy and able to play more Fridays, he's willing to try anything. No, I just play. Football is my sport. One, two, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. The extra padding cost the school $40 per helmet. Bremerton bought 30 of them. They will not be able to use them in games, though, but they do plan on using them in every summer and fall practice.